What's up guys, good morning, welcome back to the channel. Today's the third day in our wrap and exhaust series. We've got the rear bumper off the car, we got the exhaust system installed yesterday. Today, our one goal is to get the rear bumper wrapped. Now guys, remember, I'm not a professional rapper, I've actually never even wrapped cars, I did a little camel wrap on the last Z06 that I had, but this time is our first time I'm actually gonna wrap the entire car, top to bottom, everything. So don't take this as a tutorial on how to wrap a C8, maybe just like kind of like a guideline or you'll learn my mistakes. But today we have a lot of work ahead of us. We've got the rear bumper to do. In order to do the rear bumper, I think I'm gonna take out, actually I know I'm gonna take out all the tail lights, the grills, maybe even this whole black piece down here at the bottom. The reason being is in order to do this wrap, we have to get the high wing off so we can wrap up here. And in order to get the high wing off, you gotta take the tail lights out, the center light out. So I pretty much have it 50% apart. Might as well just go the rest of the way and take off that bottom black piece and those little gills on the side. I'm sure a lot of the professional wrappers out there can do it without having to take all this stuff off. I want it to come out like really nice. I'm gonna take the extra time and get all that apart. So our wrap came in yesterday. I haven't even seen the color yet. Da, 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 da. Oh my God. Guys, that is like a lime green. <laughs> that is, oh boy. That is green. I'm super excited for this, guys. I cannot wait to get this whole thing done. It's gonna pop. All right, so like I said, to get the high wing off, we gotta get the tail lights out, the brake light out. Each tail light has, I think, six screws in it, and then one connector to pop off. And voila, one tail light down. The brake light's very similar. I think it only has three bolts in it. Oh, no, five bolts, sorry. And they're all the same, so don't worry about getting them mixed up. And that should pop out. All right, so now we can access the six bolts that hold on the highway. These are 10 mils, I think. After looking more closely at this tab, I mean, you can see right there, you gotta pull this white tab back. So you do that and I just feel like I'm gonna break all these tabs off and I'm not nearly getting it far enough to, so I think I'm just gonna keep those on there. Cause the last thing I wanna do is just snap all these tabs. There's already one broken off right there. That was not me, I swear. Oh, there's another one there. Jeez, even when they installed these things, they went and broke them all off. Yeah, we're just gonna keep them on there. We'll figure it out. But I still think we can take out this black portion, the bottom portion of the exhaust and everything because these clips are a little different. These just, you push in like this and these little things slide out. Much easier to do than these guys and you won't break them off. A ton of those all the way around here and then one screw bolt. I've come up with a little system. I use two screwdrivers here to get these clips out. I push down with one, slide the straight edge in out. There, boom. One's out, two's out. All right, we got all the clips out. We got the two screws off on the sides. See if we can get this bottom portion out. All right, and then our spoiler is off. All right, so as you guys can see, we have a lot smaller, more manageable piece, especially with all the curves and stuff that this car has, it's gonna be so much easier when there's a lot less surface area to deal with. Plus, when it comes to like actually trimming the wrap, since everything is pretty much off, it's gonna be so easy to trim. All right, so I'm gonna place the back bumper on the car, so it'll be a lot easier to work with. <laughs> all right, sweet. So yeah, without the tail lights in, without the spoiler, without that bottom piece, you can see exactly what we need to wrap, and that's it. This sucks, I couldn't get these out. It would've been so much easier, but but whatever, we'll work around that. That'll be the only piece that we're actually gonna have to take our time and actually trim, make sure we do really well. All this other stuff, we'll be able to push the wrap in, wrap it around the edges, like, easy. All right, so the next step is clean. We gotta get this thing clean. And unfortunately, I did have it clean before we got it in here, but all this construction sent all this dust into here. So, I need to get a spray bottle with some alcohol. All right, so went ahead, out, took this thing outside, got it all washed up. Now let's go ahead and spray it with some isopropyl alcohol. This is a mixture about 50% alcohol, 50% water. You're gonna wanna get all of your edges, make sure you get everything, all the dirt, all the grease, everything off. One thing that I forgot to take out was this little rear camera assembly. It looks like it's just two nuts that holds this thing on. So I'm gonna go and get that thing off so it'll make that wrapping a little easier. All right, so now we got our rear camera out. I don't know how exactly the wrap's gonna conform to this whole area, but we're gonna give it a shot and see what happens. All right, let's cut off a big chunk of this. See how much we need. Let me tack this down really good. We got it on there somewhat. Now we gotta kinda get it stretched out. We're just gonna be messing around with it, playing with it a little bit. I'm gonna put some screws in the bumper really quick. Ah. I'm just gonna 
start. I don't even know where or what or how, but gotta start playing around with it. See what happens, right? I just wasted all this crap. Yeah, I don't know guys. I might have bitten off a little more than I can chew. This is not easy. This is hard. Those angles and everything. It's just, I just ripped that. So I just wasted all of this wrap. That's cringy. Ugh. I know I just cut off this big chunk. I'm gonna, since this is all I'm gonna waste anyways, I'm just gonna practice a little bit before I go and waste another big chunk of Not proud of this. Not proud of this. So All right, this time I'm gonna attack it a little differently. The first time I just kind of put it over, got a big sheet, try to cut it off after. I'm gonna measure from here to here. I'm only gonna cut that off because I'll probably end up wasting it again. So this time I measured out an 11 by three piece. That means I just wasted about, I don't know, 11 to 13 feet. Ugh. But anyways, let's try this again. I've never been more unconfident in my own like skills. Like this is terrible. I feel like if, if a human can do anything, anybody can do anything. This is tough, man. You gotta give it to the rappers. Try this again. Here we go. Alright, let's see, where should we start? I done I probably shouldn't have trimmed until I got everything kind of pressed down because that's kind of a waste of time if I had to rip this all up again but we're making progress guys so we got pretty much the entire rear bumper done except the center section now it's actually coming together pretty good i mean when you get up close you can see all the little missing perfections too much material there so hopefully all this will get hidden when i put the rear third tail light in this right here hopefully that gets hidden by the tail or yeah the tail light I had to put a little line here because I had too much material. I screwed up and wasted like 15 feet when I first started. I only have 75, so that's a huge percentage of it. So I came to the conclusion that it's not gonna be perfect. And you know, if there's a little, those little misimperfections, people probably aren't gonna see it. I mean, you gotta get up pretty close. I mean, you can see it there, but like far away, there's no way you're looking at it. Anyways, let's tackle the center here. Hopefully we can do that without messing it up. Well, boys, I can't believe I did it. I mean, there's a lot of mess ups here. There's a lot of uh, patches and stuff. I'll show you guys. Here's a mess up there. This split right there. So I put a little patch, put a little patch down here because I didn't, I cut off too much. All of this looks like crap, but hopefully the third brake light will cover that. Split right here, I didn't patch that. Got a bunch of wrinkles here, but I think the high wing's gonna, where it mounts, gonna cover all that. And then we got one more patch down here. But from far away, it looks pretty dang good, not gonna lie. Oh yeah, and I also had to patch. I tried to push all the wrap in here and then work it up and it got so thin here that it just ripped all the way across. So I just put a little patch there. But anyways, I'm gonna get everything put onto the rear bumper, the lights, spoiler, the rear piece that we took off there, get it all buttoned up, and then show you guys exactly what the rear bumper looks like after it's wrapped. Ooh, actually I won't be able to do that because I'm still waiting for the double-sided tape for the high wing. It's supposed to be in tomorrow, unfortunately. So I'm not gonna be able to button it all up for you guys. But what do you guys think about the color? That is definitely going to pop. People are gonna see this thing from a mile away. If you get a 4-2, 
have just had someone else do this. It's a pain in the butt, especially on this car, because all the lines, all the angles, and everything. But if you're feeling crazy and you got the patience, I say go for it. It'll take you a little while, and you're gonna mess up a lot, but it's worth it for sure. Tomorrow we're probably gonna tackle the rear fenders and maybe the hatch, depending on how well it goes. The, the rear bumper was a lot of work, a lot of you know angles, inserts, holes, everything. So and a lot of uh, tear down as well. We're not gonna have to do that with the fenders or any other part of the car except for that front bumper, which we're gonna save for last because I can't do two bumpers in a row. That was way too much for me. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and like the video so we can go ahead and get this out to as many people as possible. If you guys haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do that as well. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Later.